What's up guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon coverage video and today's going to be a very short video, I don't expect it to be too long but basically this video is going to be debunking something that some people might still be talking about after the E3 video, the E3 coverage because during that video, during the coverage, we saw when Popplio hit like level 9 or something along those lines it learned Disarming Voice, a fairy type move now obviously I'm not saying loads of people immediately jump to the conclusion oh my god, Popplio is going to be a water fairy type in its final evolution or you know, later on in its chain um, obviously that is a conclusion you could draw easily, you know, learns a fairy type move, okay, maybe that indicates it's going to evolve into a fairy type later on. Sure, draw it, however, there are reasons why this also means it, you know, not, it's not necessarily going to be a fairy type. One of these is that disarming voice is described as letting out a charming cry with the user doing emotional damage to opposing Pokemon. Now. Obviously, the description moves aren't too often that accurate, uh, but we do know that sea lions actually can make a barking sound, um, you know, some sort of you know, communication. I'll let you listen to it quickly. And this is one of the ways that sea lions can communicate in real life. So since Poplio is based on a sea lion, it is easily, easily, easy to draw the conclusion that you know it would have the same sort of ability. Uh, the main use, main use of these barks is actually males trying to attract females, but we you know we'll look, we'll look at that. But you know that's a reason why it's not necessarily you know sometimes the moves are sort of taken from real life inspiration so that's one reason there plus also you got to think about it you know does every single starter that gets a, a move of it a type that's not it immediately you know evolve into uh, you know a, a further type of that for example totodile can learn bite is for alligator a water dark type <laughs> no so does Squirtle, and obviously Squirtle is not evolving into a dark part dark type charmander can learn dragon rage at a very low level but obviously it doesn't evolve into a dragon type necessarily because Charizard is dragon like and it has Dragon Mega Evolution. But you, you guys get where I'm going with this. Just because a Pokemon learns a move that's not the same type of it doesn't necessarily give you the indication to draw straight away that, oh yeah, it's going to you know, evolve into this type. It, it's possible, of course, that Poplio could evolve into a water fairy type and I have you know, the Sunny Voice being the first hint of that. But simply because it learns that move and that type, it does not mean that it is going to be evolving into that sort of type. So just a de little debunk of that. I, I don't want to say it as a rumor. It's like it's, it's a conclusion that people could draw from the video, um, from you know, the coverage and such. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be part fairy, but you know who knows what type it is going to be. You know that the fighting type rumor is, is sort of flying around everywhere. So who knows what's really going to be? Let me know what you think down below about you know Popplio's final typing. What do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be Water Fairy? If you think it's going to be fi fair enough, you know, uh, it's certainly possible. But it could also be a different typing, and obviously the the move disarming voice is not an ind immediate indicator of the type. So that's going to be it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the quick like button. Obviously, it's a quick video today, but it's all good. I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.